All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms, Data Structures Beta, Learn Basic String and Array Methods by Building a Music Player. Step 31. All right. So inside the play song function, we're going to set the audio.src properties equal to song.src. And this is going to tell the audio elements, pardon me, the audio element where to find the audio data for the selected song. And also we're going to set the audio.title property equal to song.title. And this is going to tell the audio element what to display as the title of the song. All right. So before we get into it, uh, I forgot to say this in the last video. So this song.id, this is targeting this ID right here. While this equals ID, this ID right here is targeting the parameter, all right? Uh, I don't know why they did this. This could have been anything else other than ID, but I guess they just wanted to confuse us some more uh, for whatever reason. But yeah, just to let you know. So this thing is the song. It's going to be user data dot songs dot find. So user data, which is going to be the song dot songs, which is going to be all songs. These dot ID dot the ID that uh, we're going to find. So dot this thing right here. All right. Because song because find the find method returns whatever we found if it's true. All right. So that being said, uh, what we're going to do here for the first thing is we're going to set the audio.src property to song.src. So we'll say audio.src equal, now equals song.src, right? So this audio SRC doesn't exist until we make it. So we're actually creating this audio SRC for this new audio instance, all right? And then we're gonna do the same for the audio.title. So we'll say audio.title now equals song.title, right? So we're actually making the property, we're actually making the title property equal this inside of this instance right here, right? So that's basically how that's working. So let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 32. And we'll see you next time.